Hey, what's up? It's Pure for Life here, and welcome to another exciting HTML tutorial. Today, I'm going to be looking at auto completion HTML forms and also some HTML5 pipes which we can add to the forms to make it a little easier for a user to uh, fill in their details. Before I start, let's check out some of these geek chat up lines that I found. Yes, they are very, very good. Okay, so let's have a look. Hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. Roses are red, violets are blue, you overclock my CPU. You're like pressing F5, refreshing. Hi gorgeous, you remind me of my motherboard. Do you want to grab a bite? So anyway, let's have a get into this tutorial. Okay, so basically this is this form that we're trying to achieve in this tutorial. So with the forms, I usually put them in an unordered list. It's easier to kind of style exactly how what they look like on the page if you put them in an unordered list. This first one we're going to put the input of type B equals text because it's a text field. And the name is going to be name for this one. So I'm not going to have a surname. The placeholder, which is the text that is displayed in the field. I'm going to put the name Steve in. Required is true. So basically if you type required and it will make sure that the user types in something into the field. So the first name is required. It's the only validation I've added on the first name. So we try and um, let's create a submit um, button quickly. We try and submit the form without typing anything into the full name. We get this error here. Please fill out form. So it'll be different in different browsers. There you go. That's just the required validation. This one's going to be for the website URL. And this one you probably won't be able to see um, unless you're on an iPhone or something, but it will actually allow you to display um, extra.com and also .co.uk um, buttons Well, while you're trying to type something in. The same as the email one will also display the at symbol. So that's pretty nifty. Um, let's copy and paste this and create ourselves page element. So in this type, in this case, it's going to be number. The type is going to be number, and the age is going to be must be over. This rule is going to be for over 18s. So minimum is 18 and the maximum of 99 and then the value must be over 18 which is the message which will be displayed if the uh, number is not between these two um, so let's have a look at this so if we try and if we notice these this button will appear here uh, which allows to type in a, a number which allows to go up and down in numbers and it won't go underneath 18 and if you confirm it won't go over 99 if you type in 105 though, for instance, and you try and submit, to type in name, the value must be less or equal to 99. So it's pretty handy. And to validate a date is a pattern which I will, it was going to be displayed underneath, which will uh, allow us to validate the date. But also another handy thing is to actually make the type date because now you'll get a selector on most browsers to select your own date, which is nice. I mean, you can style this as much as you want, but this will usually be automatically displayed. So thanks for watching, and check out my other videos. I've got some cool uh, framework videos and different IDEs uh, reviews. Um, this one was Sublime Text 2, if you were wondering. And, yeah, happy coding, and bye for now.